Hey guys, it's Exhibitional Tech, and wow, I have a few things to talk about with you on Jailbreak Update V11. So the first thing I want to tell you is, if you want to check out all of the previous Jailbreak updates, all you need to do is go to my channel, click the subscribe button, and go all the way all the way down to the bottom where you will see Jailbreak Updates. All you need to do is click Play All, and it will tell you all of the Jailbreak Updates all the way up to Jailbreak Update V10. So the few things I'm going to be talking about is the iOS 9.3 slash 9.5 jailbreak. Then I will be talking about more into the Apple event, which is the AirPods and the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus. And then I will be talking about the iOS 10 beta 1 jailbreak. Then the iOS 10 beta 8 jailbreak. And then iOS 10 GM and upcoming tweak videos. And then iOS 9.2 to 9.3 for 32-bit devices plus more. So let's start off from the beginning which is the iOS 9.3.4 slash 5 jailbreak so there was a guy that made a video t showing people that he was able to jailbreak iOS 9.3.4 and there was a video released and it completely shows him jailbreak iOS 9.3.4 I don't know what I think about this video because there's been a lot of rumors around it people are saying it's real and then some people are saying it's fake but we won't officially know until he releases it so it does use the normal app version where he just opens the app and then clicks the circle and then locks his device and when it respings the device is jailbroken but we won't know this until somebody officially releases it I'm not sure if they will release it because I think everybody should be putting their efforts more to an iOS 10 jailbreak than thinking about these lowest firmwares that Apple have just added to patch so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the AirPods. So if you don't know, Apple released something called AirPods because they took out the headphone jack in iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So a lot of people have been hating on Apple because they took out the headphone jack. But I absolutely love that put the things they put in to replace it. Even though they cost a lot of money, they are amazing. So basically they released these things called AirPods which are completely wireless earphones. So they have a case for them which allows you to wirelessly pair them very quickly unlike any other wireless chip. And they also have a W1 chip in it which is basically a new chip that Apple has created by themselves which allows them to essentially have so much more in that earphone, in that one small earphone have so much more. But the problem with these is that they are $159 and a lot of people have been going around saying is it really worth it for two earphones that you might lose in the day you buy them well to be honest I think if you want to charge your phone and use your earphones at the same time just get wireless earphones don't moan about Apple releasing this because you can just go and buy wireless earphones for ten dollars from online or you can just go and get these amazing earphones which actually sense if they're in your ear so when they drop out your ear the music stops playing which is absolutely amazing so you can know when you drop out one or out of your ear or not and the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the iPhone 7 slash 7 Plus. A lot of people have been wondering, is it worth it to upgrade from iPhone 6S to iPhone 7? So I think if you are on iPhone 6S, the update that you should be going to is iPhone 7 Plus. And if you are on anything below that, like iPhone 6 or iPhone 5S, I guess you want... If you're on iPhone 5S, then you should definitely be going to iPhone 7 because there are so many updated versions all the way up to iPhone 7. And then if you're on iPhone 6, I think the worthy update should be iPhone 7 if you don't want to add the extra $100 for the Plus. So, surrounding the iPhone 7 slash 7 Plus, there are so much more. So, Apple has released a lot more with this, like the cameras... The camera updates, the, Apple are saying it's the best camera in the phone yet and not just so that Android hasn't really been doing too well with the Samsung Note 4 which actually set fire to a car if you guys didn't know. I'm not going to really, really be staying on that too much because people are going to start to think that I hate on Android. I do not hate on Android, I absolutely love Android and I love Apple So because this is an all tech channel so I'm going to be showing you a bunch about all different ones of them. So. Essentially, in the 7 Plus, there is two cameras. There is a telephoto lens, and then there is a wide-angle lens. So this basically allows for two optimal zooms. So there's the one optimal zoom that allows you to go forward, and then there's a 2x version, and then there's 5x, and then there's 10x. So after 2x, it's basically software zoom. But because iOS 10 is so 
amazing it allows the software zoom to actually look amazing on your device so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the iOS 10 beta 1 jailbreak so Pangu did host an event quite a while back which, which was showing them being able to jailbreak iOS 10 beta 1 so they did it in the same fashion as always just in an event that they were they hosted which showed them jailbreaking this firmware obviously they're not going to release it for beta 1 they will wait until the actual full release not the GM the actual full release and then probably a month after when Apple has fixed all the little patches they might release the jailbreak because usually that's what happens the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the iOS 10 beta 8 jailbreak this one did not come from Pangu this actually came from Ionic so everybody knows about Ionic this guy basically just makes jailbreaks and does not release them so he did post a video of him being able to jailbreak beta 8 on iOS 10 this is amazing even though he's not going to release it this just shows that we are able to actually jailbreak it making it fully aware that people are it is possible to jailbreak iOS 10 beta 8 the next thing we're going to be talking about is iOS 10 GM version so I have got iOS 10 GM version on an iPhone 5s and I will be releasing some videos on about what I think about it and not just that I'm going to be releasing some non CDO tweak videos so some tweaks on the, when, that you can use on iOS 10 GM without actually needing a jailbreak officially so there are some CDO tweaks that you can get without a jailbreak on iOS 10 that are fully working that we'll be showing you guys and also some emulators and much more so stay tuned to my channel and my website and my twitter because most of those most of the time i'll be posting stuff on my twitter the next thing i'm going to be talking about and the last thing i'm going to be talking about is then the ios 9.2 and 9.3.3 jailbreak so if you want to get that there is a for the 64 bit if you want to get that that it's going to be in the description i'm going to be showing you the non-computer version and also the computer version so as you can see you can go and get that on my website you just need to go to my website and the first thing you will see is the no computer version and if you go down below that there is a jailbreak update via 10 which will show you the computer version so you can go and check that out that will be in the description so a lot of people have been asking me on twitter about the 32 bit version so there is no 32 bit jailbreak as of right now but ionic has released a tweet saying that there will be one coming soon I don't know if he officially said that but basically he just tweeted saying that if you are on a low version of iOS 9 and a 32 bit device stay there so he's basically saying that he might be releasing a jailbreak and if you are on a low firmware of iOS 9 32 bit then he m might be coming to you so this is a lot of information guys I don't know if you're going to be able to handle it all but then again you can just go backwards and forwards checking out all of the information that I have said in this video so this is Exhibition Tech please like subscribe and comment and don't forget to go to Twitter all you need to go to Twitter is just check in the description I'll be putting the link for my Twitter and everything in the description and as always like subscribe and comment and peace